When we're working with fractions, we eventually get to multiple step problems that force us to observe the order of operations. Bed mass is our memory key to remember the order of operations. Here I have an example problem that involves fractions that has a subtraction, a multiplication, an addition, and a division in it. I'm going to show you how to do this problem following the order of operations. We don't have any brackets this time. Exponents are not involved in this problem. We have division and multiplication, which are in a tie. So we look for our divisions and multiplications, and we see a multiplication here and a division there. We do not have to do the division first. We have to do whichever one we come to first when we read from left to right. And that is this multiplication. So I'm going to copy down the rest of the problem. In the place of the multiplication, I'm going to put the answer. 1 quarter times 8 is 2. And then copy down the rest. The next operation that I have to do to respect bed mass is this division. And of course, to do a division of fractions, we turn the second fraction upside down and we multiply instead. So I'll do that over here. We have 7 thirds divided by 2 thirds. We change that to times 3 halves. And then if I cancel, I end up with an answer of 7 halves. So the answer to that division is 7 halves and gets written in place of that division on the next line. Everything else is copied down. Now we have a subtraction and an addition. And again, they're in a tie and we do the leftmost one first. So we're doing this subtraction. 1 half minus 2 is negative 3 halves. And we copy down the rest of the problem. Negative 3 halves plus 7 halves is 4 halves. We are finished, except that we want to simplify our answer. 4 halves is equal to 2. Our answer is 2. Here's another example, and this one involves brackets, including nested brackets. We have a multiplication, a division, and a subtraction. But the brackets are going to force us to wait before we try to do this multiplication. We have to do the bracket first. Inside the big bracket, we have a small bracket. And when you have nested brackets, you do the innermost one first. So that means we're ignoring the division for now as well. And the first operation we're going to do is this subtraction. 2 thirds minus 1 fifth is hard to do showing your work while you're in the middle of a bed mass problem. So I like to do it off to the side. And I'll do that down here. 2 thirds is equivalent to 10 fifteenths. And 1 fifth is equivalent to 3 fifteenths. The common denominator of 3 and 5 is 15. 10 fifteenths minus 3 fifteenths is 7 fifteenths. So I'm writing the answer to the subtraction, 7 fifteenths, right here in the place of the small bracket. I copy down the rest of the question. And now, again, the bracket is going to force me to do this division before the multiplication. 3 quarters divided by 7 fifteenths can also be written as 3 quarters times 15 sevenths, turning the second fraction upside down and multiplying. And that will give us 45 over 28. We're almost finished. Now finally we can do our multiplication. And when we multiply this, these fractions we get 45 over 56. These two numbers do not have a common factor so this fraction cannot be reduced and it is our answer. Even with brackets and fractions we can do a multiple step problem if we use the rule of bed mass and follow the order of operations.